Today is another really big news day with Princess Cruises. We've got more price increases coming, uh, huge, huge, huge website problems. And then number three, we're going to talk a little bit more about that price increase with the Premier package, give you some additional information on that and some of the thoughts that I've had. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is Friday, it is August 16th of 2024. And if you like to go on Princess Cruises or if you're even considering going on a Princess Cruise, you need to stick with me today. Let's start at the very top with the price increases that are coming. Like we have been talking about yesterday, that Premier package just went up. So if you missed my video yesterday, go watch that video, make sure that you don't miss it. But in addition to the Premier package price going up, uh, I wanted to let you know that starting on August 31st, gratuities are also going to be going up by a dollar a day. So up until now, it's been $16 a day for the interior ocean view and balcony cabins, $17 a day for mini suites, and $18 a day for the suite cabins. So with that extra dollar a day, <laughs> it's now $17 a day for your interior ocean view and balcony cabins, $18 a day for your mini suites, it is $19 a day for the sweets. So if you have not added your gratuities, um, I would say add your gratuities and let me know if it goes smoothly as you try to add your gratuities. If you, Princess Cruises is not one that will give you the option to add gratuities to your booking when you book a cruise. Um, of course, if you have that plus package or the premier package, you get the gratuities. But if you don't, then the way to add your gratuities if you want to pay them before you go is to go into the cruise personalizer um, on princess.com and if you don't know how to do that I have a video that I did some time ago about how to do it the little pictures at the top for some of those um, for the options that you've had like you can check in is where you're gonna print your luggage tags and your travel summary um, they've got one for excursions I always pick my excursions there is so much more convenient than doing it on the app um, at the far left and um, right and sorry is where you're going to click to be able to add your gratuities but there's lots of different things you can book the spa you can order water packages. You can do all sorts of things. And so that's really headquarters for your cruise. So do that there if you want to add your gratuities. Another really important note that I think we all need to go uh, know about, and I actually think this is a really good move. Um, they are going to add um, and now um, some cancellation charges if you don't show up for your appointment, the reservation that you have made for experiential dining or for uh, specialty dining. I actually think this is a really good move because I have noticed that they people will book things, and we saw it in 360 actually when we were just on the Discovery Princess. People will book an experience and then they'll just not show up. And so uh, starting on August 31st as well, if you don't show up for your experiential dining, you're still going to be charged half of that. So for example, for the uh, 360, that's going to cost you $75 to not show. And for specialty dining, it's going to be $10 a person if you don't show up for your specialty dining reservation. The reason that I think this is a really good move is because um, when you don't show up for your reservation, you are taking a spot that someone else would like to have and they wish they could have it, but they couldn't get the reservation and then you just no show. So um, not only is it poor manners to just not no show, it's going to start costing you some money. And what I'm really looking forward to with this is hopefully it'll weed out the people that really aren't sure they want to do it. Because sometimes um, I know that it's tempting to book something. You're like, well, you know what? We might want to do that. And I can see that there's a reservation for it. So we'll just book it. And if we don't want to go, we won't. Hopefully it'll weed out those people and leave those reservations available for people who really want to do that and really want to have that experience, that specialty dining. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Um, like I said, I think it's a good move um, just as a courtesy to all the other guests on board who want to have that experience or that dining option. Okay, that's what I've got for you on that. I'm actually really excited that the Love Boat Cruise is sailing on August 31st when a whole bunch of these things go into effect. So, and on the Enchanted Princess, that's when the new Premier Package goes into effect. So I'll be able to see what those dining, specialty dining venues look like, how busy they are. Um, are they adding 
many extra dining times, all of this. So let me talk to you about a huge problem on the website, and then we're going to talk about uh, what's going on with that premiere package a little bit more. So the Princess website, last week, if you follow me, and you should stick with me, um, I did a video, I had screenshots actually, and I showed you that when you just log into different cruises, and I've noticed it depends on when you log into which cruise, the Plus package and the Premier packages are showing up at very random costs. And the thing that is really hard for me with this is this is getting to be more widespread, and lots of cruises now are showing the Plus package for $51 a day. Um, I looked at it again right before I did this video this morning and it is still showing a lot of cruises that that plus package is at $51 a day. Premier packages are still showing like $97 I show, saw on one. All these different random amounts. So here's what you need to know. Those pra package prices have not changed. The plus package is still $60 a day and the premiere is now $90 a day. And so if you see a different price, you can't. that's just an error on their website. I do think that they either need to get this fixed immediately or start selling the packages for that price, right? And so um, what I want you to know um, to tell us all is if you happen to get anybody at Princess to change the price of your package, for example, that plus package to $51, I want to know about it immediately because then we can get um, things rolling to get that for everybody, okay? So uh, just be aware it's a glitch. Hopefully they're going to fix it. I, Princess really struggles with their website and their app and I don't know uh, I don't know exactly why. To me, um, I don't know. I don't know. If any of you know, put it in the comments. Now let's start talking about for a minute about the Premier Package. There's a few questions that I saw show up a lot yesterday. A lot of people wanted to know if they were going to be grandfathered in. If you booked a cruise and you booked that Premier Package at $80 a day, you're going to get what you paid for. And if you want to pay the extra $10 a day, you can upgrade your package and then you'll get that unlimited specialty dining. Okay, so um, like I said, if you already booked it and paid $80, you don't get that unlimited specialty dining. If you are someone that enjoys specialty dining, I think that $10 more a day is great. Um, you can add that and then have that whole experience when you're on board the ship. And if people wonder, um, I noticed that there were some questions about it, what it means to be grandfathered in. You can Google that. That, but it also means to take everyone that had paid for something and give them what uh, the new package is and they're not going to do that and um, I don't know to me when I think of that um, specialty dining the next thing I want to mention is we really have to pay attention to what goes on to the specialty dining because that's very much going to dictate if that package is worth it in the future um, if it's worth it to you without the um, unlimited specialty dining, then it's still worth it to you. But if you're thinking of booking that uh, premiere package at $90 a day, just to be able to take advantage of that unlimited specialty dining, we're going to have to see if it's even has enough availability. When I go on the Enchanted Princess, I'm going to be paying attention to see if specialty dining venues are open during lunchtime. I'm going to be paying attention to see if they open early. A lot of people like to eat dinner at four. You wouldn't believe how many emails I have of people saying, that would be great, because I mentioned it yesterday, if they would open earlier. Um, so that will help accommodate people. They're going to need more crew members. There's a lot that's going to matter with this, and the rollout is crucial. So I'm going to let you know what it looks like, okay? Um, the other thing that I think is really important is if you have already booked your premiere package at $80 a day and you're happy with it, the way Way you booked it, you don't have to bump up. You don't have to pay $10 extra a day. You don't have to have that unlimited specialty dining. You can just leave it as it is. If you go to book the Premier Package now, you don't have the option anymore of buying it for $80 without the unlimited specialty dining. You just pay $90 now and you get the unlimited specialty dining, okay? Another thing that I think is really important is we need to talk about a lot of a lot of comments of people saying, you know what, this is, um, this is, basically the main dining room food has not been great, so they're trying to push us to more specialty dining. Um, to me, food is extraordinarily subjective. Um, I've said this again and again and again. You can serve uh, the same plate of food to three people. One person is going to say it's inedible. Another person is going to say it's fine. And the other person will say that that exact same food is the best food they've had in their life for in a really long time. And so 
me, I think that the food in the main dining room is just fine. When we came back from COVID, it was great. And then we went through this period of time when, especially when prices on food was going up so much that it wasn't so great. But I have seen a great rebound, honestly, that I think we're right back to where we were when we came back from COVID. And I think it's, in, in my opinion, I think it's pretty good. I don't think, my opinion, I don't think that they are trying to push people to specialty dining by having poor food in the main dining room. I don't think that's a thing. They've got thousands of people on the ship to feed, and I I don't think that that's an issue. I think people that are going to want to eat in the main dining room are going to eat in the main dining room. People that want to eat in specialty dining are going to eat in specialty dining. So um, I think that's really important. And then there's been a lot of talk about what we are going to see with food quality in specialty dining as it becomes available to so many more people as they want to book this package. That, to me, is part of what we are going to have to see. I think that's crucial with the rollout. We're going to have to see what happens as we roll it out as well as in the long run with all of these things. So it's going to take all of us. And um, I know, like I said, that food is very subjective. And so we will try to... Um, just um, do our best to come together and share our experience the best we can with really helpful comments, okay? Alrighty, the last thing that I want to tell you is don't just think that because we're all talking about this that you have to get the Premier Package or you should never get the Premier Package. Don't stay. Sometimes I get set in my ways and I just think I'm not getting a package. But you want to know what? I think it's really important to sit down and look at what experiences you want to have on a cruise uh, because that can vary by cruise, right? It can vary by itinerary, what your goals are for that cruise. But I think it's really important to sit down, see what you use out of the package and decide really compare with what you would spend to get it a la carte kind of on its own with what you're going to be spending if you book it for that set price a day. I also think it's a great idea that if you think you might enjoy a package, book it on a cruise and see what you think and then you'll know what to do moving forward. Interestingly enough, yesterday in my video I mentioned that the beverage package is going to go to unlimited for um, your wine, your alcoholic beverages and everything. And um, I said I don't know how you could drink 15 um, alcoholic beverages a day. And um, someone in the comments yesterday kind of outlined how you can do that. So if you're someone that has a goal like that, go read comments uh, that people made on the video yesterday. I thought that was kind of fun. So thanks. And I love, see, it takes all of us together to talk about things and to have a fun time. I've got one other really quick note here for you. Yesterday, I mentioned in my video at the end of it about our Facebook group for our Antarctica group cruise. Um, I wanted to um, add a couple of things about our group cruises here because I know we've got lots of uh, new Let's Go family members with us. So I want you to know that for our groups, we have Let's Let's go travel tips.com. That's our website. You can go there and click on group cruises. The way we do our group cruises, we have a set dining time and we have um, get togethers, especially based on the itinerary, what's going to be going on. And um, we have get togethers where people can visit. We always have a meet and greet where I give you your shirt and um, we have a fun time. But we visit uh, some of the itineraries that have longer sea days. We get to play games, play cards together, whatever, and just have a really nice time. It's a wonderful group of people that come together to dine together if you want, not if you don't. So you're very welcome to be um, included in the group as little or as much as you would like to. Um, you get extra onboard credit if you book it with me and join the group. You do have to book your cruise with me if you want to be in our group. Uh, that's just the way that I do it and I think it's appropriate because I put a lot of effort and time in to making it a special group cruise for everyone who decides to join us. Now, um, the other quick note that I've got for you is the Antarctica Facebook group that I started. You can come and join us even if you're not go going on that cruise, if you just want to be hear what's going on with it. But um, I get, I've gotten some emails from people who are in the groups who don't do Facebook. So I want you to know a couple of things. First of all, I went to the conversation um, having the Facebook group so people can talk together, make plans, just be excited together to go on a cruise. The last few cruises that we've done for our British Isles, for the Alaska one that we just did, and for the Love Boat coming up, I send out a group email and I do this for all the cruises that will give you like the dining time and as it draws closer, I'm gonna give you a schedule of uh, events. I'm gonna hand that out at the meet and greet as well because sometimes that can change kind of 
of last minute, but I'll let you know everything that's going on. So if you don't do Facebook, it's not that you're not going to know what's going on. You can, but I've noticed that as I have invited people to reply to all to the group to talk about things, nobody really does. And so we thought that maybe Facebook would be a better way to do it. So that's why we're doing that. But if you're in the groups and you don't want to do Facebook, you'll still know what's going on. So no worries. And if you don't do Facebook, um, you might want to consider it just to be in the groups that we've got because they're really fun. Uh, people in our groups are very respectful. They're a lot of fun, answer a lot of questions, share a lot of experiences, post a lot of photos of their travels. They're just great. So come and join us. It's Let's Go Travel Tips is our Facebook group. And then once you join that, there are little things you can click across the top to go to the other Facebook groups, um, Facebook groups for the group cruises. So just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. We'd love to have you join us. So take a look. So thanks for joining me here today. I want to know what other questions you've got about this um, change with the Premier package. I want to know what you think about the price increases, about the charge for um, missing your specialty dining or experiential dining reservation. There's just a lot going on right now. And and, um, I love the conversation. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We need to have you with us. If you appreciate my updates, would you please give this video a thumbs up? I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.